Hello guys, welcome to the first video of the fan procedural modeling and uh, this is what we're going to be creating uh, by the end of the videos and the first thing that I would like to start with is creating the actual box, the main box that we can have everything uh, uh, subtracted from and the first detail that I would like to add is this beveling here, this rounded corner and then the bevel around the, um, uh, the main box. So I'm going to start with a box and I'm going to set it to have 13, 17, and 4 subdivision. Uh, we can change these numbers, but this is what I had in the original, so I'd like to keep them. And I'm going to try and bevel these guys. So I can easily select them by hand. I can select the edges here and then run a bevel on them. And let's increase this. So you can see we're beveling the edges nicely and we don't have any problems we can simply select all of them and then that should be it but the problem is if we do that and we decided to change the box then this is going to fail and I'd like to create a system that is procedural that automatically selects any corners from any box and I'm going to do that using a combination of various group nodes so the first one I'm going to group all the points based on a region and this region is going to be a box and we're going to group everything except the points at the corner at both sides at this side and this side and let's go all the way to the end except the edges and I'm gonna call this all points and we're gonna create another one that groups points along the x-axis so this one instead of that we're gonna this so we we've we now have uh, uh, we have grouped all the points except the points at the corner but now we're overriding the group so instead of doing that I'd like to combine them and we can easily do that by changing the uh, the initial merge mode to union with existing and now we have all the points connected uh, uh, selected except the points at the corners and I'm going to use a node in Houdini 16 called group promote to change this from an, a point group to an edge group so I'm going to select all the points and want to promote that from points into edges and by just doing that you can see we have everything selected except the points at the corners and now all we have to do is basically invert that and the way I'm going to do it is create another group uh, and call it edges so all edges I want to find the difference between these two so we have all the edges and we have another group with everything except the corner and if we subtract both of them we should be able to get the data that we need and we can do a group um, subtraction and differences using a group combined node I'm gonna set the first one to be all points or all edges and then from all edges we want to change the, uh, the operation to equal equals all but the all points and now we can see that we're automatically selecting the corners and we're going to put down a poly bevel and with this poly bevel we want to set it to all edges and set this to 0.22 something and then change this to rounded and give it some detail so 7 is good and now we're automatically doing that and if we go back and change change any detail from the box we should be able to get uh, f uh, this should should work fine uh, we may need to adjust the uh, the groups that is grouping the points based on the on the region but that's something easy that we can do instead of having to worry about selection and things like that and and the other thing is if we decided that we need more details at the center the system will work uh, absolutely without any any problems Cool. So the next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to bevel everything um, except the center part. So I'm going to put down a poly bevel and this is easily done using the ignore flat edges. I'm going to set increase this and now we're selecting everything except any, uh, any uh, edges at the center. And then I'm going to bevel that to using something super low. I want to change it to round, set it to 4. And now we we're beveling that, we can increase that if we need to and that should be no problem in doing that. Cool, so the next part that we want is we would like to add 
I would like to add this part. I want to remove this volume here from these various corners. And the way I'm going to do that is using a, a tube. And then from that tube, I'm going to basically uh, uh, make a hole at the center and then um, only have data outside. So I'm going to create a tube. I'm going to have it face the Z axis. I want to place it at the center and let's make the radius bigger, something like that. And for the height, we don't want it to be bigger. Let me, we want, we don't want it to be bigger than the, uh, than our box. So let's take a look at that. Let's template the box and let's look at from the top and want to change the height. Cool. Something like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on uh, polycaps, but first let's change it to polygon. I'm going to turn on polycaps, increase the poly polygon count. I don't need any, uh, any rows on the sides. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two faces, this one and this one. I'm going to inset them. So I'm going to use an extrude node and I'm going to inset them inside. And we're going to use this geometry to basically everything here we're going to use it to do the boolean so we need to make this empty and let's untemplate everything and let's turn off output front so now we have we have everything uh, uh, inserted but empty and i would like to connect these bridge this edge loop and this edge loop and we can easily do that using um, if we group the first edges a group of edges and then the, uh, the second one so i'm going to use um, an edge node uh, sorry, a group node set to edge, and I'm going to change it to sphere. So let's make this bigger. And let's look from the top and put the sphere here. So now we're grouping those points. I'm going to call this front. I'm going to copy it again, and let's move it to select the other side. Something like that. I'm going to call this back. And now all we have to do is poly... Uh, we're going to bridge this. So now with the bridge, I can, I select the, I set both groups back and front and I don't need any subdivision. So now we have this geo. And if we use the new awesome Boolean tool in Houdini, I can run a Boolean operation between the two. And let's turn this off and we can, uh, let's change the mode to subtract and subtract A from B. So now if we put down in all, we can see that we we're uh, creating this. Cool. So we can also change the, uh, the inset if we want to. We can do that and we can easily change uh, any details that we want. We can change the height of this if we want to. But, and uh, yeah, it's very flexible. The other thing that I would like to do is with this boolean tool, it knows the it knows the edges. It knows about this seam, this seam, and this seam. So it knows about the edges, and all that information is stored in the A A B seams. And I'm gonna turn this on to basically store the edges into a um, a group, and then I'm gonna use a bevel node. And with this bevel node, we're gonna tell it to use the A B scenes and you can see now it's selecting these guys and i'm going to increase the roundness to something something like that and then let's set it to 